Hello, my name is Aaron Perkins, and today I'm going to show you three different methods to factor a polynomial. I will show you the normal way, factoring by difference of squares, and factoring by grouping. In all the examples, the coefficient of the term with the greatest exponent will be 1. For the first example, we will factor the polynomial x squared minus 7x plus 12. First, you want to find all the factors of 12. These are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 6, and plus or minus 12. Next, we want to find the two factors that when added together give us negative 7. So for our example, it would be negative 4 and negative 3. Since negative 4 times negative 3 equals 12, then negative 4 plus negative 3 equals negative 7. So the factors for this polynomial are x minus 3 and x minus 4. For our next example, we will do an example of factoring by difference of squares. The general setup for any polynomial that can be factored using difference of squares is x squared minus a squared, where a squared is a perfect square, and when factored, we get x minus a and x plus a, where a is the square root of a squared. As you can see, there is no middle term in this kind of polynomial because a is the same number in both factors. So when you expand it back out, the two x terms will cancel out. So for our example, we will factor x squared minus 16. The first thing you want to do is find a positive number that when multiplied with itself will give you 16. So our a squared equals 16, which would mean our a will equal 4. Therefore, the two factors for this polynomial are x minus 4 and x plus 4. For our final example, we will look at the polynomial x cubed plus 7x squared minus 2x minus 14. This polynomial we will factor using grouping. So first, we will look at the first two terms, x cubed plus 7x squared. What we want to do is, is pull out the greatest common factor, which would be x squared, so then we would have x squared times x plus 7. Now we will look at the last two terms, negative 2x minus 14. Here we want to do the same thing and pull out a common factor, so we will pull out negative 2 and have x plus 7. Therefore, we can rewrite our equation, x cubed plus 7x squared minus 2x minus 14 equals x squared times x plus 7 plus negative 2 times x plus 7. As you can see, we have a common factor of x plus 7 in both terms. So then factored form would be x squared minus 2 time and x plus 7. Our x plus 7 is a common factor that we had in both terms. Our x squared minus 2 is the x squared from this term and the negative 2 from that term that we pulled out to get the x plus 7. Now there are some problems for you to work on over what we just covered. So at this time, pause the video and work on these problems. Then when you're done, play the video and see if you got them right. The first thing that I'm gonna do is spread my wings and fly. If you're still having trouble or would like to see some other videos on factoring, visit my content area video blog at the link shown here. Blonde tramp, and she's probably getting thirsty right now. He's probably buying her some food.